Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Spider-Man No Way Home Final Swing Suit, Red and Blue Suit, The Best Spider-Man Suit, whatever you want to call it. The Tom Holland Spider-Man figure that we have been waiting for. God, it feels like forever at this point. I cannot get enough of this figure. I am going to just straight out of the gate say this. Oh man, as soon as I got this figure out and I messed around with it for a little while... I knew for a fact, I feel about this figure the exact same way that I feel about the Toby figure arts figure. So if that's any benchmark for how good this figure is going to be, but oh man, this figure is just beautiful for starters. I mean, look at it. Like, let's just take a second. The red, like the matte red, the vibrant shiny metallic blue it looked like the logo the eyes all of it is just breathtaking i mean like god damn it's so nice like let's just real quick let's get the comparison out of the way bring in the marvel legends one i did modify this you know i made the web line smaller to make the, the symbol pop and all that stuff and this is like this is nice for what it is this is fine but comparing these for what they're supposed to be, this is a piece of garbage. This is amazing. I I do like this figure. It's not bad, but it certainly, compared to this, is absolute garbage. This is probably my favorite Spider-Man figure now. Aside from Toby, obviously. That figure arts Toby is probably my number one Spider-Man figure of all time. This, over time though, I feel like could take it. I doubt it, but maybe. The only thing that I think would have actually made this take the cake in comparison to the Toby is if he came with a Tom Holland head. Unfortunately, he does not come with one. But even if he did, probably wouldn't even pose it with it. So, but speaking of things that he does come with, let's go over what he comes with. So as you can see on him right now, he has this head sculpt that has the very John Romita Sr. looking eyes. These look so nice. The lenses for both of these head sculpts look so beautiful. Like, just very classic. He's got the splayed out hands, which look really good. Everything, of course, is sculpted and textured on here. He's got, like, the separation at the fingers on the inside and the outside of the palms. I don't know what's going on with that, but it doesn't look bad. It's just something to point out. But this head sculpt is very nice. I cannot get enough of this. It looks so beautiful. And I will be showing you guys something really cool that I found out when looking at this figure. But speaking of the head sculpt, he also comes with... This head, which looks very reminiscent of the Amazing Fantasy look of Spidey, which looks so good. And I did try popping out the lenses. They're not coming out. I don't want to break anything, so I don't want to force that. They could just be stuck on mine. But with the fact that it is alternate heads and not just a separate pair of lenses in there, I don't think you can interchange them, unfortunately. But God, they look so nice, though. The paintwork on these, the metallic black, the whites, the reds, the web lines, all of it is just beautiful and it is the same way that we're used to when it comes to figure arts Let's see if i can get this off it was being a little tricky before there we go cool so it's just the standard little hinge so you can put the other head on there i would put the other one on there but unfortunately it sticks a lot so i don't want to have that stuck on there because i personally like this head sculpt more for two reasons one it just looks so nice on this figure but also what i will show you guys here in a second as for hands, as I said, he already comes with the, you know, splayed out hands. He comes with a pair of thwip hands, which look very nice. These look really good. Let's see if we can get this to focus here. These look really good. Pretty much the same detail across the entirety of all of his hands. He comes with a pair of wall crawling hands, which are really nice. These are wall crawling, gesturing, whatever you want to call them, hands. These look really good. I do like these. Same detailing where there's like a lot of gap going on between the fingers and the like backs of the hands and then the inside of the palm. I'm not sure if that's, I imagine it's accurate and not some sort of mess up because every single pair of hands has it, unless it was just like a universal mess up, but I guess, which, you know, it could be, but it comes with a pair of thumbs up hands, aka web holding hands, which these look really good. I do like these. And then, of course, he does come with a pair of fists, and these look really nice as well. So you can have him throw down with the villains. And then as for webs, he has one, sh like, medium-sized web, which looks not, you know, not too bad. It's a clear material instead of a, uh, 
white material. You've got a shorter, thinner one, and then one for the holding hand, so you can have him be, you know, mid, coming in, swinging around kind of stuff, which looks really good. We've seen these before time and time again, and they still, you know, they still hold up. So what I wanted to show you guys real quick is if you bring in the Mafex Spidey, the reds match up a decent amount. So if you are not super keen on the class, the original head that comes on there, you could easily put this on here. You'd have to use some blue tack, but I think this looks really nice. I think this looks really, really good. This looks very classic to me, and I can't get enough of it. And now pulling Spidey in for a closer look at the detail. We already did take a look at the head sculpt, but the symbol on this looks so nice. I mean, look at that and how it reflects light. That looks so good. The symbol stands out too, as opposed to where the Marvel Legends one, it was very sunken in and you couldn't really see it and it got lost within all the web lines. This looks, you know, you're going to see, when you see this Spidey coming, you're going to see the lenses, the logo, and the blue first. I feel like this just looks God, it's so beautiful. The only thing that I don't care for, and I know a lot of people don't really care for it, is the elbow joints. They don't bug me nearly as much as the Toby does. Like, if I bring that in real quick, the Toby, for whatever reason, they gave him blue joints for his, shul or for his shoulders, for his elbows, even though the entirety of his arms were covered in red. So I don't know why they did that. I wish that they would have just made those joints red. I just can't get over the blue, truly. The, bat, the symbol on the back looks so nice as well. You can pop it out to put a Tamashi stand on the back if you wanted to as well. It would take off half of the symbol, but obviously it wouldn't be that big of a deal. This looks so good. The blues, I just, God, the blue more than anything And else. then as for articulation, his head can go up that far, can go down that far got rotation you know standard shf joints that we're used to can tilt back and forth all that good stuff rotate it both of those his shoulders go out that far rotate all the way around butterfly joint you can get all the way across which is really nice you can get a mm, little bit back but there is no cutout for a butterfly joint on the back unfortunately but there is you know a butterfly joint type thing going on in here so you can get all that kind of movement up there got bicep swivel he also has movement at the actual joint on his shoulder itself Double joint elbows that go up all the way. And you can see where it, like, it just, it doesn't look great. The elbow joint. It's not something that really bothers me that much because the red, I feel like, lines up better than the blue would. I just feel like they could have done something. They could have figured it out in some sort of way. Standard figure arch joints for the wrists, you know, that usual stuff. His torso can't bend to the sides at all. They didn't make it so it could do that, but it can go forward. And using both joints, it goes that far forward. Can go that far back. He's got rotation at the top here. You can still get like some decent poses out of it with the fact that it rotates up here, but it's it's really strange that it's not, you can't get any sort of posing when it comes to the sides and whatnot. Maybe you could try and futz around and maybe put a new joint in the middle to give him more range, but I personally am afraid to. I feel like if I do anything, it's just gonna start chipping away at the, uh, at the blue paint. Cause I have a little bit of chipping, I think somewhere on this. But that was just, I think, my own fault. I don't know. But I can't even find it now, so it's not something that's too terribly, too terribly noticeable. So that's good. His legs can go out that far, which is really good. Can go that far forward and all the way back, which is awesome. He has a thigh swivel, which cannot, can only go about that far inward, but can pretty much go all that way. The other side. His knees go up that far, which is good, but I feel like we could have gotten better maybe i don't know it's not it's definitely you can still get him into poses no problem like the torso joint and the knees and all that stuff like the little bit of hindrance that there is in this it really does not actually hinder it as much as you would think and then of course the standard figure arch joints for the ankles so they go back that far or they go up that far and then back this far he's got ankle pivot of course and the toe joint and now on to some size comparisons here he is next to the figure arts no way home andrew and figure arts no way home toby these three look so good together. I really wish that we could have gotten better reds on both Toby and Andrew, because I feel like this Tom, they nailed it, but they didn't really nail it when it comes to Toby and Andrew, just from how this looks in comparison. Before, I thought they looked amazing, and I think that they still do look amazing, but there's just something... I think that this Tom is so accurate and we've only seen it in like one scene. So I think that it's very easy to sort of manipulate that 
mental image that I have of that. So I think that, well, I know that for a fact this Andrew sucks. This figure sucks. I don't like the paint on it. I don't like it or anything like that. So I personally think the Marvel Legends is better and I gave that toe joints and all that good stuff. So let's put him in here real quick. And I think this looks far better. The colors, the just all of it looks better to me. It's not the best that it could be, but it's certainly better than the figure arts. So I, I like how these three look. And while we have this going on, might as well just swap out Toby for the Legends real quick and see how he stacks up with them. And I think this looks really good. I think that Toby, I think Toby would have been perfect if he was like a solid middle ground. And I think maybe Mafex could give us the proper colors on that. Same thing with Andrew. Hopefully we get the two of them at some point here in the next, you know, 20 years. And then maybe they'll make this Tom. Although I just don't think that they can top this Tom. I really don't think that they can. I also don't think they can top that figure arts Toby, but we'll just have to see. And then here he is next to the Figure Arts No Way Home Goblin, and then the Figure Arts No Way Home Integrated Suit, the original one. And I really like how he looks with Norman. I actually bought I actually bought this Norman because I wanted to pose him with this Spidey. Because I like the Marvel Legends one. I, I really do. I think that that's a good figure, and let's swap that out while I'm talking about it here. But the metallic green that's on this that's on the figure arts one just looks so much better with that i think this looks great too though so it's not it's nothing to scoff at at all and this obviously is just based off concept art and they just were kind of going for more of a animated look to me personally is what i feel like this just looks very much like tom holland's proportions and the suit and all of that just looks so nice i've pretty much given my overall thoughts but Overall, you know, I I really do like this figure. I think that it is a solid 9 out of 10. Maybe an 8. Could push it down to an 8, honestly. Yeah, let's, let's push it down to an 8 for probably, like, general kind of thing. But for me, I would say a 9 out of 10 because the elbow joints definitely could have been done better. They don't bother me personally that much, especially just whenever you're posing them in that, it's not really that noticeable, but I know that that is something that will irk a lot of people. So that is a point docked, but also the fact that he can't move side to side. I think that that would have been really nice for, for just general, you know, movement purposes. But like I said, you can still get a lot done, even though he doesn't have those joints to be able to go side to side. There are things that we definitely should have had fixed and like a standard that we should have, but it's not something that breaks the figure, you know what I mean? So, I love it. It's definitely my main display Spider-Man now. Like, he's going to be front and center, without question. So, yeah. That's going to do it for me, and I will catch you all in the next one. See ya.